Welcome to LA Foodie. I'm Drew, and that's Ben. We're looking for the best eats in LA and usually finding them. On today's show, we give yell to the yelpers, hot dogs to the trains, and coffee to the squirrels. Plus, TV's Zach Selwyn lets us serve him a white Russian despite his better judgment. So put on your blindfold and open wide, because there's all that and more. Coming up on LA Foodie. Okay, today is another first, Ben. Yeah. It's the first time we're ever recording video oh my God. <laughs> for our podcast. So it's thrilling. Uh, I don't know. Do you think that there's people out there that are like, Ben doesn't look like I thought Ben would look or Drew doesn't. <laughs> ben is bald. <laughs> oh God. I'm not listening to this crap anymore. So anyway, um, yeah, yeah. if you're watching or listening to yeah. the podcast, uh, welcome. If you're watching specifically, please click this oh, thing yeah, it's over there somewhere up right? here the subscribe yeah. button okay um all of our new podcasts and everything will be on this youtube channel um and the video the video podcast. yes the video podcast yes. and then the regular still get audio, the audio pod- podcast the same way you've same been listening always. to it however that is yep actually however that is you could even tweet us and tell us how do you listen to the podcast yeah we're kind of curious because yeah. you can get it on itunes you can get it on soundcloud you listen on facebook if you wanted yep. to you can like, listen on our website so yeah any place. email yeah. us uh podcast at LAFoodie.com. Yeah, I mean, we'll be improving. We're always improving the podcast. And especially now that we have, I mean, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hopefully we're not making it worse. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you like the video, tweet us. If you don't like it, tw- just tweet us and tell us what you think. We're always interested in hearing what you have to think. Uh, also, by the time you see this, uh, we will have uh, recorded the uh, the new segment that we're doing with the Expo Line train. Yep. So uh, the new train is opening eventually to Culver City. Yeah, eventually. Uh, when it opens <laughs> on... Close, uh, it's right there. And when it opens on Saturday, it'll be opening to the La Cienega Station stop. Right. And the Farmdale stop won't be open either. But, right. but what we're doing is we're riding from downtown all the way west to La Cienega, mm-hmm. and we're going to stop at every stop where we can, and we're going to figure out uh, what's Someplace, the best thing yeah. to eat or drink at that stop. Exactly. And uh, so it's like a train crawl. Sort yeah, of. it'll be a train crawl. It'll be a little crazy because I think they're having some parties, some big festivals at a couple of the stops to celebrate the new line and yeah. everything. And, you know, 50 years from now, 100 years, maybe 150 years from now, mm-hmm. when that show is in the National Archives, right. and, you know, people say... This is really what it was like in Los yeah. Angeles 2012. Ben yeah. Drew, L.A. Foodie. Yeah. So it's, it's really exactly. an important it's gonna show. It's going to be a yeah, historic show is what you're saying. Uh-huh. This is going to be preserved for the ages. Right. So sorry we can't tell you in advance. But, you know, if you're reading our tweets, we're telling you that we're, we're going to tell you that it's happening. So if you... It's time shifting is tough, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So the problem here For is us, this. like we're going to be tweeting stuff, and you will have the opportunity. But by the time you see this, this is the past. This is <laughs> this is not happening anymore. So whatever. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> um, how about this? Okay, click this link here on the screen. Oh my god! Uh, to see over here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> to 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 check out the uh, the podcast of the Metro Line. Yeah. Train crawl. Yeah, it'll be good. Um, all right, and also. One other oh thing gosh. that you can One do. One more thing. Um, if you go to Facebook, LA Foodie on Facebook, and you upload a photo of yourself uh, either to that page, mm-hmm. or you can just upload a photo of yourself and tag us, LA Foodie, um, we'll send you uh, a piece of $1 posted art. I love uh, those. Yeah, they're really cool. It's a dude, he draws an original piece of art. Well, with it's Patrick Sharpie. McGilligan, former guest. Former and future LA Foodie guest, yes. Patrick McGilligan, awesome artist. Um mm-hmm. He'll draw you an original piece of art, and he'll mail it to you, and all he asks for in return is a buck. So we'll send you yeah. some of that. So upload something on Facebook, preferably with food, but it doesn't have to be. Doesn't we just want to, to see you and hear from you, and we'll send you that as a prize. All right. Before we get into the rest of the show, I want to talk about, uh, I got back from Coachella yeah. recently. And how was it? It's a little crazy. Kind of smelly. Sh- a little smelly. Hot? Not, well, see, we went the weekend one, and it wasn't that hot. Was it sexy? Well, and it wasn't as sexy as I think all the people who usually go wanted it to be, because when it gets hot, that's when it gets sexy. That's true. So I guess all the people that went weekend two were like, yeah, it's over 100 degrees, whereas I would have died. Yeah. Which so a lot, of, lot of people, a lot of women in petticoats, yeah. a lot <laughs> yes. of men in three-piece wool, mm-hmm. gabardine. Hoop skirts, lots of, a lot yeah. of hoop skirts. Uh, but yeah, no, it was actually, we had a really good time, some great shows. 
you can check out the video okay on youtube yeah yeah yeah. yeah. why don't you go check it out right now no yeah. uh yeah ben yeah. ben shot uh what to eat and what to avoid that was pretty cool well that was yeah i wrote a whole guide about all the stuff that we had you know now it's t- obviously invalid but for next year you know <laughs> but uh and the video does show what a good time we were having we we're having a good time giving out some free pizza you look from, like you're having a good time yeah pie to the people uh over there really hooked us up they're a pizzeria that's in joshua tree actually their permanent location okay but they go to a bunch of festivals and they have uh they have some really good pizza. It's not just like they have another place that has been there for a few years called I Love Spicy Pie, which is totally fine. But uh, it's just your standard New York slice, whereas Pie for the People is kind of your more artisan, really like they have Guinness caramelized onions on the pizza that we had. Fancy. Yeah, fancy stuff, but it tastes really good. Yeah. Plum sauce on the pizza, which no one could guess. Anyway, no one watch the it. video. It's a good time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, we also had the juju balls from the voodoo van. And that's the thing to get, right? Oh, my God. The juju balls, they're, well, they're fried potato balls. They're stuffed with cream cheese and parsley. Now, I didn't know that potatoes had testicles, but... Yeah, but uh, little did you know. Yeah. But uh, it's Rocky Mountain Oyster uh, potato balls. They're so... Damn good. And they come with pickled onions on the top, which I usually don't even like, but they so were really great. So this isn't specific to Coachella, Unfortunately, right? no. They're a van, but they're in San Francisco. Okay. So I'm hoping that either A, Voodoo Van opens up another van down here, or just comes down here, or B, somebody, maybe somebody listening to the show can tweet me where the hell I can find <laughs> fried mashed potato balls, because man, those okay, so that's so good. As the listener, that's your assignment. Yes. Fried... Potato testicles. If you know where to find fried potato Rocky Mountain oysters, <laughs> please get in touch with us. All right, enough about this crap because yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. bring today's guest on. Uh, You're right. Should 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 we meet him? I think it's time to meet today's guest. All right, joining us today is a comedian and host of the upcoming History Channel series, possibly called Shit America Says, <laughs> thus far <laughs> untitled, uh, Zach Selwyn. That green room over there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. well Lovely. catered. It's yeah. well catered. Oh, my God. I no, just... look at it. <laughs> nice hooters. <laughs> um, is that like a painting of you guys? It's somebody yeah. with an owl rendition? Yeah. It's me and Ben. Excellent. A fan sent this in. Great. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I... Keep sending in your fan-made artwork for Ben and Drew. Oh, please they do. They love it. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Now, uh, former guest Heather Thompson put together some fan fiction for us oh, yeah. right, right on the show, so you'll have to check that out. It, it had right. to do with... With gay sex. Yeah, that's oh, great. I was telling you about. Um, sure. Right. Well, that's why I'm here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and happy to be here and joining you guys. Yeah. Um, all right. So we asked Twitter. I don't know. Were you watching? I saw you guys put some stuff on Twitter. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you didn't get any questions from no, me. We did get a question for you. Right. The you question is, all right. funnily enough, it's 2 a.m. You're in West Hollywood wandering down Melrose Avenue. Hey. What do you get to eat? Now, this is from at oh. Geese Shock. Greg K. asks yeah. this question. Greg K. Well, 2 a.m. in West Hollywood and Hollywood Melrose. All right. So the 8-ounce burger bar is closed. Okay. That was a good burger place. Mm-hmm. But I think the city got overrun with hamburger joints, and that one just was a casualty of yeah. the like massive takeover of umami burgers that's happening oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Encounters. Uh, right. What's on Melrose? The the Blue Jam Cafe is good. I don't know if they're open at 2 a.m. Um, you know, Blue Jam has been tweeting LA Foodie for some time. We should right. go check it out. We're we haven't been yet. Yeah, that's good. Real good breakfast, especially. But the 2, 2 a.m., I don't know. I mean, if tomato pie pizza is open, maybe a slice. Okay. Okay. You know, sure. uh, Fairfax High, my girlfriend goes there. She might have some lunch in the <laughs> locker. Your girlfriend is right. so nice. She's yeah. a very and sweet girl. And she just girl. finished up a school project. Indeed. Uh, she uh-huh. did. Uh, it's exciting. She basically did a harp seal, save the harp seals kind of thing. You wow. can go to www.savetheharpseals.com. <laughs> And check out her project. It's very exciting. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, congratulations to her. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so there you go, Greg. Okay, at 2 a.m., you know, at that point, I think it's got to be a slice because I'm probably going to be drunk. Yeah. And most likely bleeding from a major orifice. Sure. Could do, I guess, well, pizza is always good for that, no. right? No. Swingers, swingers is on, on Beverly. It's on Beverly. Okay. That's right. But it's a little, it's a little oops, ways. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, swingers is good. I love swingers. Sure. Been going there for since I moved here like 18 years, 14 no years. So the question is, though, that I want to know. Yes. What's the last place you ate at? Ooh. Oh, you know what? Did you eat on some? Uh, did you eat somewhere on the way over? I have. I'm actually starving. My I, my birthday was yesterday. Happy oh, birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you. And my wife was like, "I want to take you to this place. It's called Cafe Gratitude." Okay. Oh, you know I've what? heard of this place. That's a vegan restaurant. Wait, this is this is where your wife took you for your birthday? 
This does not seem like the place that I would take you for well, your birthday. I don't even really know you. I know, well. right? I'm not married, <laughs> let alone married to you, but I'm not sure. I guess I was sort of like, well, I don't know. It's a vegan restaurant. I don't, uh-huh. I'm not really sure. But I was kind of feeling a little disgusting because I like ate four 2 a.m. drunk slices of pizza oh, okay. the night before. Of course. Sure. So I wanted you something healthy. in West Hollywood. You know right, what I do. Right. <laughs> And so we went and got Cafe Gratitude, and my God, that place is amazing. I mean, oh, it's really? like this different, but it's vegan. It just doesn't taste vegan, or how you would think vegan would taste, mm-hmm. I guess. I mean, unbelievable, really. Not good. Everything on that. Yeah, is that's it, what you would think. I just don't... I, look, I I don't have anything against vegan food, yeah. uh-huh. except that it doesn't taste good. I have yet to... <laughs> I agree. This yeah. is. The, I'm saying if there's a place to try, and maybe you guys should go cover it just okay. one okay. time, right. I, I would recommend the BLT, and the bacon is like a coconut shaved bacon like it's nothing's real you know sure right right. but it's real i mean it's really good it's real and wine in the sense that it tastes good okay okay Okay. what else did i have there i had a uh i had like some crazy salad just a lot of green stuff a lot of roughage yeah is this the place that has like is their service a little uh a little wonky perhaps okay okay yeah, a lot of lot of guys wearing Tom's shoes there. Yeah, sure, so people right. who care is what you're saying. People right. who care. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> lot of guys with like the long hair tied up in the top ponytail. Oh, that's really uh, not a look I see Beards, very often. Hot chicks, kind of hot chicks. I don't know. It was, it was yeah. It's a vegan restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Kind of hot chicks, like they would be pants. hot if yeah. they a lot of yoga pants. Okay. Yeah. It's like a Whole Foods, but sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of my impression. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was well, it time? Yeah. I think it may that be time it. for oh. everybody's favorite game. Okay. What did we put in your mouth? Okay. So, oh, boy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what did we put in your mouth is the game where we blindfold our guest, give him a couple of hints, and then have him guess what we put in his mouth. That's right, Zach. Once time begins, you'll have one minute during which you can sample the item and ask us yes or no questions. Today you'll be eating a fruit. You don't need to tell us where it's from, but let's see how close you can get to naming this fruit. What we put in your mouth. All right. Oh, okay. So nice. Let's... The pass food is low quality. All right. Well, we've got uh, we've got the fruit here. All right. So and we need a blindfold. Should, should I'm, should I'm not even looking at. Just close your eyes. No blindfold. We don't, have a blindfold. Don't, don't worry. You're not filming this or anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so here we go. So put your hand out. So Zach does not have a blindfold this week, but that is okay. He's putting out his hand. He's got the paper container of fruit okay, in his hand. Fork. Starting got a fork. Timer. And this timer so I, starting now. I eat, all right, so he doesn't tell you what it. it is. Okay. So this is a, this is a fruit. Mm. We already said that, right? No, yeah. Okay. So describe what you're tasting here. Well, it kind of tastes like a flavorless apricot of some sort. Okay. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, though. True. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I really have no idea. I'm going to guess, mm-hmm. based on the time of season that we're in right now, <laughs> okay. time of season. Time okay. of the season. Thank you. For everything, there's a season. Indeed. Turn, turn, turn. Mm-hmm. This is like a low quad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Holy <really>? shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It is? That is a low quad. Yes, you are exactly well, low right. Low quad means low taste. I don't know what's up with these. They're not very good, are they? No, they're really not. They're not spectacular. You know, there are different varieties of low quad. Now, this one came from the Beverly Hills Farmer's Market. Yes. Uh, which we were told by the director mm-hmm. on the project that we worked on together. <laughs> Right. Are you going to feed me one? Yeah, here you go, buddy. Ah. Mm. Get there. Get there. Now we're talking. Okay. That was, yeah. Mm. Mm. I was told, all right, well, the reason I knew that in my head was because we did work on this TV show recently where I interviewed these guys, and oh, right. the loquat conversation came up. And we had yes. talked about like a seasonal fruit that was everywhere in L.A. And yeah. maybe that's why I guessed it so easily. Yeah, so it was just in there. I've never tasted implanted. that before. Yeah. Well, I never had before yesterday. Yeah. And we went to the Beverly Hills Farmer's Market. We were invited, actually. It was a very nice right. tour. No, it was great. Um, it's, it's really nice over there. It's, it's a cool market. And we saw Loquat sitting on a table. And, of course, the director had told us when yeah. we were working together. It's a, did he tell you separately or were you no, part of No, I think of, I was standing there. Okay. Yeah, you were standing he there. was saying yeah. something like it, they grow outside his house and he goes right. and he picks yeah, them they grow and he eats house. like a hundred at a time. Yeah. And they bruise know. so easily that they're not like usually picked and transported because it's just not worth it. So well, we I saw was, them and we were like, oh, we should pick these up. We I was get way else. underwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, that's, so this yeah. is also... So what do we got on Wikipedia? This is also here. known as a Japanese plum. Mm-hmm. It's sometimes oh. known as a Chinese plum. Uh, they say that it's indigenous to central China. I guess they grow around here. Hmm. I mean, they must if they're at the farmer's market. 
Well, Chinese people live a long time, don't they? They do. So it's attributable <laughs> yeah. mostly to yes. the loquats. It's, a, it's like Most a new super, it's a super fruit. Well, it's, it's uh, <laughs> royal jelly and loquats. And that's, those are the two things. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice. Well, I think... Uh, that was awesome. Yeah. No, that's that, that was Low all right. Quat. And I think that leads us Low. right into our next segment. We're going to try some other things. Maybe we'll like a little more. Okay. It's time for free samples. <laughs> This is the part of the show where we sample a food or drink and review it right on the spot. And today we've got a whole free sample buffet. It's free sample buffet. Do, do, do. All right. That's right. So uh, <laughs> let's start with the Tabanero hot sauce. Let's do it. Now, I think the di- these guys aren't local, or at okay. least I couldn't figure out that they were local. I never found an address on them, but they seem mm-hmm. to be a nationwide thing. They seem to do a lot of press uh, on... Social media, they reached out to us, said, do you want some? I said, hell yeah. Sure, well, why not? imported into Boca Raton, Florida. Okay. So local is what you're saying. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, I love hot sauce. It looks zesty. Mm. It does look zesty. <laughs> I wonder how hot it is. Maybe we well, should so try and see how zesty it actually is. Yeah. So I've got... I've got some corn chips here. Yeah, some Fritos. All right. But I figured we could put the hot sauce right. in the Fritos. I'll let you guys do um, some No, it's called Tabanero with an Ñ right. over the end. Yes. Even though I'm pretty sure that the word is habanero. Yeah. Tapas. And people say habanero. I don't think that's correct, though. I think you're right. I think it's habanero. And I think Tabasco and habanero... Combined is Tabanero. Well, somehow an Enya snuck in there. So it was like a three-way okay. between a Habanero, Tabasco, and an, an Enya. Enya. A rogue Enya. You know, that's pretty good. <laughs> you yeah. like a little uh, hot sauce on a just... Frito here? Yeah, I just, I just I got a like a there. gross, uh, like, uh, astringent aftertaste off the Oh, really? Yeah, it's oh, the low quad. Oh, okay. This will right up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is well, just, just probably doused sprink- it Yeah, sprinkle yeah. some of that sprinkle on there. Sprinkle all, all over? Yeah, why not? Why not? All right. You're good. A little sauce on everybody. All right, there you go. That's delicious. Um, it's not good too hot spicy. Sauce. Yeah, no. This uh, does not have a hotness Snack rating on it like if some people places don't do. like listening to people eat. This is a terrible. Yeah. Show <laughs> Fast <laughs> forward through this. Part. Well, there's some great music <laughs> playing during this part though, so don't worry about it. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. Um, okay. Yeah. It's good. I mean, it's all right. it's you know, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know how much this costs per bottle, but. I think it's seventy-five dollars a bottle. Right. Worth it. Sure. Yeah. I have no idea. I could kill this right now. Kill it. Oh, go ahead. We have, that two, thing they we have two have more trays of. Was it taco? Where do they make that like chili Frito mm. bag of crap? Chicago. They call it a walk and taco. Yeah. But the chili Frito pie, they've got them at Sonic. They're Sonic, sure. Sonic. There or you go. New or Mexico. Steak and Shake. Or in New Mexico. Oh, do they have them at Steak and Shake? I think so. Chili Frito pie. Right. right. Sorry yeah. to tell. That, that was good. Los Angeles. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Sonic, all Anaheim, you can't Steak go. and Shake, not even not, on the West Coast. Not at so. all. <laughs> oh, well. So, <laughs> but Tabanero chip. hot sauce, pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty uh, good. I dig it. All right. Coming all right. up next is Secret Squirrel Cold Brew Coffee. Now, on a recent show, oh, yeah. um, Ben talked about the Toddy Coffee Maker. Right. The which, Toddy. It's a cold brew coffee maker. You got to make it uh, the night before. It takes like about 12 hours to brew. You stick it in the fridge, whatever. But... Uh, it takes out like 60% of the acidity of coffee. I want to know what the units of measurement are there. I have no idea. But that sounds good because one, one thing I hate about coffee is the acidity. acidity. Yeah. yeah, you know, it kind of upsets your stomach maybe, a little something like that. Or it's just, you know, but it takes out the bitterness, takes out the acidity. It makes a really nice cup of coffee. And so Secret Squirrel found a bean that they think really complements that process. Now, I love this because they the put it in medicine bottles. It yeah. looks like apothecary containers. Yeah, it's nice. And whoever brews this stuff, or I should say whoever writes the labels, has wonderful penmanship. Yeah, this is oh, yeah. This, I looks love like a, yeah. this looks like some old, come on over. Yeah, That's yeah like you cure found all it your disease. in grandma's yeah. cellar, like you found the uh, secret squirrel. Like if you found this in your grandmother's cellar right now, He'd be like, oh, oh boy, what was grandma into? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> little opium den grandma. Yeah, this is what Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson sold in the Say, Say, Say video <laughs> out of the back of the wagon. Right. So the question is, do you want just a coffee with cream or do you want a white Russian? Because I've got a little sidecar on each one here. Oh. I think we got to go with the white Russian. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Secret squirrel. But just to reiterate, we're not doing breast milk white Russians, right? Right. We've that talked was, about that it on the show before. That was to me. Yeah. It's, it's a oh, little... Oh, wow. Uh, Actually, this smells really good, too. Ooh, glasses from Tony's on the pier right here. These are nice glasses. I love these. I sort of feel like if you are... Uh, if you live 
on the west side or even, you know, down south in Redondo, of course. Sure. You really need to own at least one Tony's on the pier glass. So where, oh, yeah. this is uh, in Redondo Beach? Yeah, it's yeah. on the pier. It's, it's on the pier, as yes. it says on the glass. <laughs> yeah, and they let, they let you keep the glass. Yes. In fact, all the glasses. So if you order a bunch of cocktails, then you can have a whole set of yeah. Tony's in the Pier glasses, yes. right. which I think a lot of people do. Maybe. <laughs> cheers, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cheers. So the cold yeah. brew. Yes, cold Secret brew. Squirrel. Yes. Yeah, so hey, let's. I'm, I'm drinking a Secret Squirrel. Why not? Mm. Thanks Why not? for sending us free shit, guys. Yeah. Oh, yes, exactly. Well, that's absolutely uh, mm. Lebowski-ish delicious. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's delightful. So yeah. what I did was... Uh, Walter, what's the, what's there's, the there's a here? beverage here, man. <laughs> I have uh, an ounce and a half of the concentrate, okay. an ounce and a half of cold filtered water, mm-hmm. um, about an ounce and a half of heavy cream, okay. and then a shot, however much vodka you want, I put in about an ounce and a half. So the coffee you diluted like one half, to one with half. water. One to one with water. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Which is, is that their recommendation? Or no, they do I think two they actually one? said two to one with right. water and one to one with milk, but since I was using heavy cream, I went one to one with okay. water and then that again makes with heavy cream. Here's yeah, my yeah. question, boys. Uh huh. Okay, our recording was just interrupted yeah. by the delivery man. Oh, yeah. Right now, uh, the camera on this tripod over here is being held up with a piece of scrunched here. up foil. I'll take a picture yeah, of that. Really for quite the nice. home and so the delivery on. man just came and delivered this glyph, which is a little iPhone tripod stand. So, But I don't really know if you can get any more high class than <laughs> this guy with the foil ball that is holding up. I feel like we're on Pee Wee's Playhouse. And we're back. Hey. Hello. All right, so background vocals being provided by your daughter. Oh, yeah, and yeah my, my daughter's son. here and your son. Maybe they'll hook up. That would be weird, though. I don't know. I could be related to you. You're a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> and you got an L.A. foodie. He's got, you know, I'm, I can go out and eat anywhere we want. That's true. We'd Maybe I could get, like, a up. correspondent job on the show. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Retweet live from, uh, from restaurants. From, like, Bumbershoot. Yeah. <laughs> My morning jacket killed it. Yeah. And so do these nachos. <laughs> That's what I was doing at Coachella, basically. Yeah, yeah by yeah, the yeah. way, good job out there. <laughs> well, it's not as much a buffet as I had hoped. I know. We, get, uh, we had some no uh, show. We, had, we had a no show, which might or might not be their fault. Might or might not yeah, be so my let's fault. Let's not call them out. We'll, nah. we'll keep it a secret. Okay. But, so yeah, uh, I came here to eat, guys, and well, uh, this is just we We'll get you some else? food, don't worry. Yeah, we got some stuff. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I'm not I complaining. I'm having a great... Though, this is delicious. This will this will. Yeah, the white Russian. That, all really, hunger pains disappear with a delicious secret <laughs> squirrel white Russian. And in fact, now I think it may be time for our brand new segment, Yelp. Counter Yelp. A script never comes alive until the table read. In this segment, we bring life to some of Yelp's finest prose. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you Yelp Counter Yelp. First, Zach will be playing the part of Ashley J from Studio City. Carney's is my favorite train restaurant in the city. Not only that, but the hot dogs and burgers here are probably also the best in the city. It is so fun to come in here as well. The chili hot dogs are so delicious. The chili tastes like it's freshly made and everyone in my family loves it. There's absolutely no hot or spicy flavor at all. The hamburgers here are also good. They are always made to order fresh. I'd recommend ordering french fries as they are also quite good here as well. Which makes it the best. What makes it the best of all this is that it takes place inside a classic train cabin. Just coming to eat here is a fun and memorable experience. And now... Ben portrays Tom B. of Benicia, California. I've been going here since the 70s. Yes, I'm an oldster. Where's my senior citizen discount? (laughs) And I always thought it was great. Huge dog smothered with chili, a couple of large wedges of tomato, onions, good stuff. Tasty as all get out. Either sitting in the old train car or out front watching the Sunset Boulevard world go by was a worthy experience. Of course, this is when the owner still was there himself, making sure everything worked right, once he told me he'd name the place for his son, who'd gone to USC. Anyway, the last time I went here, the owner, former by now, was nowhere to be seen, and the cook's attendants were more interested in yakking with each other than serving customers. What's worse is I saw the cook wipe his hands all over his greasy hair before touching all the buns and food without washing his hands. What a taste treat. Besides that, the portions are smaller, and the prices are higher. I could deal with that as an example of universal entropy, but the greasy hair stuff, never again. 
Well, after we've heard those reviews, I think it's time to give our own opinion. It's time for the LA Foodie Restaurant Review. This week we visited Carney's, the big yellow train car on the Sunset Strip. Ben, what's your favorite thing about Carney's? I mean, the train car is pretty exciting. I, I'm honestly, when we went there, I thought it was just going to be kind of a tourist trap, like you know. Its I location mean, certainly seems that. Yeah, way. and I mean, you know, after our experience at Pink's, which was not very positive, I was not expecting a lot. Zach, have you been? I have been. I haven't been in a long time, but I used to go all the time. Were you? Was, did you get the hot dog or did you get the burger? I've had both. Okay. They also had two dollar beers for a long time Ooh. there. I don't know if they still do that. But I don't think they're two bucks, but they're cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was one of those places that would forever give me a bit of a, the indigestion. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Right, yeah. But I haven't been there in a while. I'd love to go take my kid there or something. You know what, though? I was actually surprised. Good? Uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of liked it. I was really yeah. into it. I mean, they had a good, the hot dogs had a good snap to them, and we've, we've been eating a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. So coming up very soon is this really cool project that we did. It's mm-hmm. the top 10 hot dogs in LA. It's being released. It's in the works. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ben and I got pretty full on hot dogs. What did we say? We oh, went to something God. around 25 places. Been somewhere like 25 between... places. And this thing in the last month alone, right. I think we've eaten parts of at least like 15 to yeah. 20 hot dogs yeah we made a really like big push right there at the end yeah <laughs> it's been Parts a lot of, so it's like a bite and then you take a bite and yeah, moving you gotta, on yeah split it up you can't eat all of them oh my god but uh but carney's was right up there man i mean carney's was really good they're known for it i mean they've been around forever and you know they have there's a second location in studio city mm-hmm. right that's right uh but it places great i mean you know how is it like uh is it a cow shit dog I don't even know. Is it kosher? That's a good question. <laughs> it's, That's an all, a, it's, it's, a, it's an all beef hot dog. Right. Sure. Um, and it's a natural casing hot dog. That's uh, a good sign. I, they don't do sabrettes, but they might do Vienna. Ben, are you looking that up? I'm looking it up right now. Sabrettes um, are the ones that my mom is like, when we go to New York, she tracks down a sabrette stand and yeah. that's like the answer mm-hmm. what's the equivalent to the sabrette hot dog here in la you think um mm-hmm. probably what did i just say the uh the vienna beef yeah the vienna yeah. beef oh, okay yeah so i know that's that's what willie is over at uh vicious dogs in north hollywood loves yeah. them actually a few places. dogs in pasadena yeah. they use that too yeah. yeah yeah it's a good it's a really good frankfurter yeah i'm hungry uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking so, looking. Carney's Restaurant is at 8351 Sunset Boulevard. Uh, they are open uh, from 11 to midnight um, every day of the week. And uh, they have awesome hot dogs. We, I mean, you know, we, I think we were both kind of surprised, right? We, yeah. No, we definitely. I, I was totally surprised. I was expecting it to just be a perfunctory visit because so many people had kind of mentioned it. It's just kind of one of those places everybody knows, like Pink's. The older places, honestly, I eventually started kind of feeling like the older places, some of them don't, you know, some of them are past their prime. Well, that's definitely true, especially yeah. now that there's sort of this hot dog comeback thing right. going on in L.A. There's a lot of really great places to get a dog. Yeah. And I think some of the older places that have maybe rested on their laurels for too long exactly. or never updated, yeah. who knows, but well, you, know, you have really yeah. good options now. You so. have older chefs who maybe have retired or passed on. Or are demented. Or demented. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you just kind of, you know, some of that is institutional knowledge. Some of that is like, you know... A guy who's been working the griddle for 30 years knows something that a guy who just started yesterday is just not going to know. Right. What's, well, uh, what's, you said Pink's, what's the other one that's on Fairfax? It's like well, north of Melrose. Okie. Oh, Okie yeah. Okie Dog. Dog. Is that yeah. good? It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. There's a couple of them. There's, well, there's that one. I guess that's the original, right? Well, it's hard to know because know. the Okie Dog is a thing that right. exists kind of independently of Okie Dog. Right, the Okie mm. Dog is the, the two hot dogs with pastrami tortilla. and chili rolled up in the tortilla with cheese <laughs> and ooh. onions. If you want, one of the most yeah. ridiculous dogs yeah, really right, right. That you can buy. You, you get it better. at Pink's. They call it something different, but it's right. the Okie Dog. I mean, Some everybody they knows call it the Fairfax something okay. dog, right? Yeah. yeah. So there were a bunch of clones, kind of the same way that there is Tommy's, the original hamburger joint. Right. Right. But there's chili. also like Tom's and Tomas and right. Tommy's. There it's kind of like Ray's Pizza in New York. Yeah. So. I think that Oki Dog was the original, <laughs> yeah. but we also went to Oki's Dog, yes. and Ben and I are actually, were actually split on it. I thought Oki's Dog was better, and I Ben liked thought Oki's. Oh. Dog was better. I liked Oki's. I know it's, I know it's an a L.A. Rip-off. foodie battle. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a play-in, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> in our that tournament. was the worst part. Yeah, in our tournament, it was a play-in, and then we couldn't <laughs> pick a winner. Well, so what do, what do we have there, Ben? 
the different well, dogs. What did we have? We well, I want to had... see that. I'm looking forward to this hot dog uh, March Madness you guys put together. Oh, it's I'm great. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we had first the Carney's dog, which is just chili, mustard, tomato, onions. Right. And then we did the New Yorker, which is one of their spicy style dogs, split mm-hmm. and grilled. Uh, comes with grilled sauerkraut, chili peppers, and grilled onions. And we got the Chicagoan, which is pretty basic. It's just mustard, spicy yellow relish and onions which is not really what i consider a chicago dog yeah we actually got yeah we got confused when we was when we were there because we assumed that the chicagoan was the original carnies right and that the carnies was the chicago dog and it's not no the one that's got the big tomato wedges is the carnies it's the carnies so the one that i actually really liked was the chicago one it was by far my favorite my favorite okay so another i like i liked their chili I thought their chili was really solid. They do have good LA thick all meat chili. Gotta have that. It's how are you guys not three hundred (laughs) pounds? I mean, you guys must do two hours of cardio a day. (laughs) We are. This is a this is a very forgiving lens that we're using. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So good. This is a skinny lens. That's great. Yeah, it's like a fun house (laughs) mirror. Yeah. Um, and we also got the chili fries, which I would mm-hmm. highly recommend yeah. uh, if you're into such things, because the chili is really good. What about yeah. a date spot? Do you take a date to Carney's? Or is I that take like, a date to Carney's. You do? Yeah, Depends, because yeah. there are certain things that'll scare a lady off, like conversations about Star Wars that happen on the third date or sure. something. Like, you know, don't get into that so soon. <laughs> Rito right. shot first, bro. Right. <laughs> right. Or but I think Rito. that if you take... Oh, solo shot. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is the argument that men have. <laughs> is... Uh, Take a lady to Carney's and, you know, if she likes it, then maybe she's a keeper. Well, Here's what I think. Yeah. I haven't been on a date in a long time. Yeah. But when I was dating, Carney's was an absolute no date because yeah. it's just a, I would imagine a gassy sort of yeah. oh, that is, she'll follow. That's If there is expected anal later. Right. <laughs> EA, as I call it. Uh, that's a good, right, you know, I mean, seriously, you got to think about that because girls, you know, they get a little, they don't want to be around that. No. And I understand. Sure. So, so you, what you know, would you suggest? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Where do you go? I, I don't know. Well, you want to go You go to Cafe Gratitude for the Cafe vegan. Gratitude. There or just go. Jamba Juice. That's it. Just clear <laughs> just it Date to Jamba Juice. Yes, let's meet at Jamba Juice. Well, you I could totally, you could, you could, you could spend, you could ball out of control and just get her like 3,000 Jamba Juices. Oh, yeah. like, Keeps what? the energy you up with a little, oh, man. with a bee sting, like pollen edition right. for an extra dollar. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you're balling at a Jamba Juice. Or if you get the That's Chinese guy behind the counter, you get the royal jelly and the, and the uh, well, what's the other thing? What was the other thing? It was uh, <laughs> the, 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 the loquat. The loquat. Oh. Yeah, put a little loquat Put a loquat in there. Yeah. Even if I'd nailed the that, new I don't a, think it would have been funny. It's the new put a bird on it. Right. <laughs> put a low quad in it. <laughs> I mean, there's so many good date spots. I don't know. But anyway. There are. Uh, that is, but Carney's is probably... I mean, you're right. Carney's is probably not one of them. Carney's is... It would really be a decider. Do you know why I would take a lady to Carney's? Mm. Why is that? Because it would tell you what kind of lady you're with if she stays. No, it just has lots of free parking. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, bro. <laughs> and you can go to the comedy store afterwards. Oh, it's true. It's right there. <laughs> yeah. No, I I do want to stress that though. Carney's has tons of free parking. <laughs> That's a big plus. It's, it's yeah, actually true. really <laughs> uncommon on the yeah. Sunset Strip. Like right. it's right there. You don't see it. It's behind the train car. It's probably the most valuable thing in their entire real estate. So, right there uh, is the <laughs> parking. <laughs> ladies, Drew Hubbard, Kansas City. Sorry, already taken. Hey oh. Sorry, ladies. Zach Selwyn, Tucson, Arizona, <laughs> taken. Ben. Ben Waters, Kansas City, also taken. Sorry. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm> disappoint. <laughs> the ladies are crying. Oh yes, tears, tears. Uh, you know what, guys? Can we give away a CD of mine? Oh, well, let's do it right now. This is the thing. Uh, I didn't want to. I, I brought all these CDs of my new release. Well, it's actually not my new release because I'm not going to print that up. Because who wants a freaking CD anyway? I don't know. Remember when uh, Pearl Jam kept releasing stuff on vinyl? Yes, and now vinyl's back. Yeah, that's why my new way. record's out on cassette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting on that early. It's a good um, idea. No, I have a Mixed new record tape. out called uh, Moose Knuckle. Okay, nice. It's a comedy sure. music album, but uh, I don't have any printed up, so I figured... And that, that refers to the time that you spent in the Pacific Northwest. It sure does. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> if you go to my website, zachselwin.com, you can see the photo, and that should be expen- you know, enough explanation. Now, this is your Moose Knuckle, right? That is my Moose Knuckle. Yeah. Uh, moose yeah, all right, so I shoved a stuffed animal in there. Oh, nice. Or did I? Um, <laughs> it is powerful kind of, looking. It's powerful. It's kind of like a play on the Sticky Fingers. Rolling Stones album cover, but it, you I know, see it. That Is album it? has some good songs, like uh, you know, "When Will My Mother-in-Law Leave My Fucking House," 
um, vegan zombie. Are you I a- see penises in everything. <laughs> uh, but we're, that one, you know, that's a new one. But the one we're going to give away is called Pluck Your Twanger. Sure. Uh, this is a classic. It's this a classic is, uh, album. Good comedy yeah. album. It was nominated for a Shammy Ooh. in 2010. What's a Shammy? A made-up award I just came up with. Um, so it's a now comedy it's, music it's, album. It swept the Shammies, though. It I swept think. the Shammies. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, but this is a good record. This Most has, absorbent, they said. I mean, it yeah. was really good. It's <laughs> a good thing to put a drink on. That's what the CD was voted. Yes. Best coaster you will have mm. this year oh. for your Tonys on the pier glass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this has some good songs in it. TSA Gangsters was a hit. Oh, uh, we got she found my jizz rag. She found my jizz rag is on here. I've I've heard good things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she found my jizz rag has been buzzing. Yeah, yeah. Is that trending yet? Yeah, yeah. it's trending right this now. This is so. This is a good album. I got fourteen songs, and you can give it away any way you want. I don't know, but it's really it's funny. You'll definitely well, let's laugh. give it away like this. All right. Okay. So whoever wants the CD, tweet us right now. No, send us an email to oh. podcast at lafoodie Okay. There you go. And tell us why you want it. Tell us what you're going to use it for. I hear them coming oh, yeah. in. They are coming in like crazy. Yeah, what are you going to use it for? That's are you using it for a coaster? Good. Coaster's good. You know, Frisbee. Yeah. Also Remember, possible. this is Shammy award-winning artist Zach Selwood. Thank you very right. much. Uh, there's yeah. this also a song on here for all you parents out there called Get Your Dick Away From My Daughter, <laughs> which yeah. is a tribute to my baby girl. So... <laughs> Who's here watching this That's podcast, right. by the way? <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we'll give that, you know, give that out. Uh, right, ZachSelwyn.com, yeah. which is spelled Z-A-C-H. So you're a Zachariah. Yeah. Z-A-C-H-S-E-L-W-Y-N.com. Oh, and, by the uh, way. LAFoodie.com. Yo. Yeah. How was it working with Fergie? Fergie, man. Fergie yeah. was, you know, it was cool. We were so hang of- on. You recorded uh, how many? Three songs with okay. Fergie. Fergie was uh, <clears throat> Stacy Ferguson back then. Okay. She was in Wild Orchid, and then she did a solo thing, and she was kind of struggling. And I got hooked up with her because I was making like a rap album because mm-hmm. I was, you know, rapping. Right, like you should. And be. I still do, on, you know, I still do wanna, on occasion. But wanna, it was. Um, you want to lay off some freestyle for us sure, right here? Man. Yeah, you can drop something. But it was funny because she was a uh, friend, and she came in and sang on some tracks, and the tracks were great. And then she were doing this. We were doing like what the Black Eyed Peas are doing, kind of combining rap and her voice. And then all of a sudden, she's like. I think I need to. The best story is she said, "I have a song I want to write with you. What do you do? You like these lyrics?" And she, I go, "All right, let me hear it." Meanwhile, she was really not looking her best. I didn't think she was going anywhere. Yeah, not and looking she, her best in the sense that she just. She just I think she up wasn't yet cleaned she, up yet or okay. something. But she was a sweet girl. But she looks at me and she was like, "All right, here's the hook." It goes, "Shut up, just shut up, shut up, shut up, just shut up, shut up." And I was like, "That's the worst song I've ever heard in my life." <laughs> I don't I'm, want to I'm write that crap like with song. you. <laughs> I'm not writing that. And then a year later, it was like a t- number two hit on the pop charts. And I was at the gym listening to it with a <laughs> gun in my mouth going, no, that was my ticket out. Give up. Just give up. Give up. <laughs> give up. Just give up. Give up. Hi, Weems. See, my daughter made an appearance. Oh, she is. Hi. She's right here. Hello. Hi, baby. <laughs> She's probably like, you want to come on the pod? You want to come on the Barely out feed? of frame. All right, we're going to introduce the world to Southerly, Southerly Flight Selwyn. Oh. Yes, I smoke weed. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nice. There she is, the weed. Yeah. Hey. The tripwire. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Say hi to all of Los Angeles. Microphone. <laughs> Microphone. Exactly. <laughs> She's 11. <laughs> She looks she's, younger. She looks fantastic. Yeah, no, she's doing great. It's LA. Whoa, oh, yeah, oh, don't hello. touch the sure popper stopper. <laughs> well, Ben, I think, sadly, that does it for that today's show. That for today's show, yeah. Is that it? I think yeah. that's it. That was fun, man. Uh, so you guys, you think you may be going to go somewhere with this LA foodie thing? We're trying. No, this is yeah. it. No, this, I yeah, thought this it was is a, the end. Well, I thought it was a competitor to Funny or Dark called LA Faux Die. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what it is. People make that mistake all <laughs> the time. <laughs> We need to put a disclaimer on the home. You should. Page. It's right. not, people are uploading comedy videos. <laughs> not competing. All right. With so Fodai. podcast at lafoodie.com. Uh, if you guys seriously, next time you guys, here's what I would love to do. If you guys ever get invited out to like review a restaurant, can, yeah. I, can I come along as like your royal taster? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we did a, we actually did a podcast segment at Lola's last time we oh, were there. I that oh, that's right. Yeah. So we should do that again, and Zach will come along, and in case it's poison, in case someone is trying to sure. assassinate As us. As often happens yeah. at the places because we go to. Because they think sure. it's the funnier die people that are doing it. <laughs> well, Lola's, yeah. it's funny about Lola's, I don't know what you guys did there, but back in like 97, 
98 when I first kind of started living in Hollywood. That was mm-hmm. known as the only place to get an apple martini. Yeah, still, that was the story. Yeah. The they, big apple they claimed martini. To the have home invented. Of the apple I think team, they may yeah. have invented it. And I actually went and I did. I used to write short stories for a magazine at USC where mm-hmm. I went to school with Carney's Kid. And, oh, uh, really? <laughs> like Gordon the old guy? No, I didn't know him. But uh, <laughs> we went there and I wrote a whole article about trying the apple martini there. And I brought it into Lola and showed her the article. And uh, God, I got to dig that up. But yeah, for dig like, it up. For about can we, can three we put it on months. The yeah, okay. <laughs> I got to find it. It's in my garage. For about three months, I drank for free there. <laughs> and every time she saw me, she was like, hey. I mean, so it was just like apple, apple teenies all day long. That's awesome. Nice. We actually had a And really then I realized I'm a yeah. man and I don't, right. I shouldn't be drinking those. <laughs> That's correct. You should be drinking white Russians. Thank instead. you. Right. With secret squirrel cold yes, brew. Yes. If you want to go nuts, get the secret squirrel. <laughs> well, that slogan is free of charge, secret squirrel, right? Yeah. There. You can take it. <laughs> if you want to go nuts, that is, that's a good one. Mm-hmm, squirrel, mm-hmm. you know it's true? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not one to squirrel away great taste. Nice. That's a long, no. one. That's a long one. Yeah. yeah. yeah that so that one on. would need to be on a billboard and flowing script. Yeah. I have yeah. good feelings about the secret squirrel. I think this is going to go places. This yeah, I mean, you know what? Honestly, the cold drink. brew, like, uh, I'm lucky that uh, Lisa actually doesn't, she kind of enjoys doing the whole ritual of putting it together, putting yeah. it in the fridge and stuff. But if you're lazy... It's a lot of work for it's a, a little cup bit, of coffee, It's a little bit of right? work for a cup of coffee, okay. yeah. So, I mean, you know, the concentrate lasts you all week, but you know what? You could just buy it from Secret Squirrel instead, Then you'd have it. Do it. We recommend it. Thanks for listening to LA Foodie. Find links to everything you heard on today's show at LAfoodie.com. Join us on Twitter or send us an old-fashioned email at podcast at LAfoodie.com. As always, I'm Drew Hubbard. And I'm Ben Waters. And every time we tweet... I love a good churro, but that one at Coachella can chinga its madre. Twitter follower Simply Miss Jasmine replies, I agree. They were delicious. (laughs) 